Let's bring in Jets inside linebacker CJ Mosley. CJ, first of all, how are you feeling physically? Um, I'm feeling well. You know, um, with everything going on, at first it was a little hard to kind of get situated as far as you know finding the gym once everything got shut down. But um, you know, my, my trainers and done a great job of staying in touch with me as far as keeping my rehab program going. And you know, now I've been able, I say the past few weeks, past month, and I've been getting on the field doing some some field work, football movements. Everything's been feeling good, so I'm ready to go. Do you anticipate being fully ready to go for training camp? I think everything's good. So obviously, whenever we get back, we're gonna still, you know, kind of go talk to the trainers and kind of go with the protocol to see where I'm at. Then, you know, once they say everything's okay, you know, I'm ready. What do you think a healthy CJ Mosley can add to this defense? Um, I think just for the as we talk about the leadership aspect, just you know, Ben, when you get to those tight games, those close games, you know, just kind of having that leader that can talk to you or just talk the situation out on the sideline. Um, I think far as been on the field, you know, just having that experience, you know, when you seeing certain formations or seeing how somebody line up or seeing a team line up in a certain way, and, you know, running the same play. So I think far as those two things, you know, just that leadership and just experience on the field, is gonna, you know, help this team help the season do even better. Was it special for you as far as the schedule release is concerned? Yes, I know you knew who you were going to play, but when you saw Buffalo week one, considering what happened last year. Yeah, um, yeah, I saw I saw it, you know, I saw the Jets post some on Instagram, so I gave him a little a little eye emoji. So um, but you know it's, it was a it was a it was a fun game to play in, man. I mean, that, that was obviously my best game, so it sucks to, um, <laughs> to get hurt in the third quarter. I'm sure they might have a few tricks of their sleeve to try to slow me down, but um, it, it didn't matter who was going to be the first team. Man. I've been I've been out of football almost a year, so I'm just gonna be excited to be out there, be out there and playing. How challenging has this off season been as a football player and as a human being? Because you're sitting there in virtual meetings, you're not on the field, uh, and I know you want to be out there with your teammates, but at the same time, uh, the world is combating. COVID-19, and then this country is combating racial injustices right now. Mm. Um, it's, it's definitely been, you know, sad to see, um, but also been inspiring. You know, I think one of the unique things about, you know, the George Floyd um, situation, you know, in the past, um, we, after, you know, this police brutality and uh, those type of things have been going on through, you know, through Black lives and through all minorities, um, I feel like the some parts of the world might have turned their head or, you know, some people might not have seen it, but, you know, with this, with COVID-19, you know, the whole world's on lockdown. So when this George Floyd situation happened, you know, the whole world saw it. So it's just amazing to, to see when everybody get on one accord, you know, things can change. So um, we definitely, we definitely seen this movement take off a lot more um, quickly than it has in the past. And I think that's been the main reason, you know, it's, it's not just a United States thing, it's, it's a world thing. And to see, you know, different players around the world, different players in different states, you know, come out with their stories. And, um, you know, um, it always takes a great sacrifice to bring bring the best and bring the worst out of people. And that's what we get in the day. So um, I think at the end of the day, you know, you know, we got a lot more good people in the world than bad. And we're going to see a lot of changes because of that.